Hello, everyone. Today, I wanted to talk about the topic of game graphics in 2023. This is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time. And with the release of Jedi Survivor in the state that it released, I figured that this was the ideal moment to make this particular video. The footage that you're watching in the background is that of Jedi Survivor. This is a game that was provided to me by EA so that I could give it a look, check it out, tell you guys my opinions on it, do the live streams, all that stuff. There's a full playthrough of the game already in the channel through live streams that I've been doing over the last week and I will be doing a full on review but this video is not just focused on Jedi Survivor it is more of an overall discussion that I wanted to have on the topic of video game graphics because the way that I feel when it comes to gaming graphics for like the last big releases that offer you a quality versus performance mode, I feel like there is a certain amount of effort that people are putting in on quality versus a certain amount of effort that they're putting in on the performance mode. And the purpose of this video is to provide the developers with some feedback as someone who plays a lot of video games, but not just as myself, but also by providing developers with some data from my community, which may not be representative of the gaming community as a whole, but I would challenge other creators to also pull their own communities and let's try to get a bit more of a consensus than just having my own community trying to answer this particular question, even though I did ask people to, you know, share the poll that I did with their friends so that we could get even more data. And I got uh, a lot more votes than I would usually get on Twitter. So I would expect that to uh, have taken off a little bit more than necessary. But before we get to the hard data itself, I would like to posit uh, a scenario here. Now, say you're playing a video game, right? And this is a video game that's got like all the bells and whistles, beautiful graphics, all of these things. You got your ray tracing, you got all of that jazz. I want you guys to like think for a little bit for exactly how long are you going to be impressed by these details while the game is in motion? Like actually think about it, right? You boot up the game, you play it for a little bit and you're like, wow, this game looks friggin' amazing. This is so beautiful. Look at these visuals. Look at the ray tracing, super sharp textures. Look at these reflections. Look at all of these things that the game has. It looks gorgeous. For how long does your brain absorb this and you stay in this state of awe? Because in my opinion, this will last for about 10 minutes maybe 20 minutes, maybe even 30. I would, I would wager anywhere between 10 minutes to 30 minutes of you being somewhat impressed by how good the game looks. Now, let's say that game has about 30 hours because usually AAA games, that I mean, you know, depending on the genre, depending on a lot of things, but, you know, a lot of games will last you 30 hours or more. So let's say across those 30 hours with all of the set pieces that you're going to be getting with the game, how much how many of those hours are going to be spent with you being impressed with your brain in a state of awe at the fidelity of the game and i want to focus on that at the fidelity we're not talking about beautiful animations that that they create midway through we're not talking about you know impressive scale or anything like that like oh they zoom out and suddenly you're fighting this big dragon that is visually impressive but maybe not necessarily from a fidelity standpoint. At least it doesn't have to be impressive from a fidelity standpoint. If the fidelity is there, it's fine. But I think that when you are looking at those big cinematic set pieces, what is impressive is what is happening, the actual animation of the scene, but not necessarily the visual fidelity. Because when a game is in motion, right? Are you really going to be paying that much attention to ray tracing after that, those initial moments of awe when you first saw the visuals of the game? Is that really something that is going to be happening? I would wager that in a 30 hour game, most likely you're going to be spending about one hour of that time being impressed by visual fidelity, regardless of how impressive this is. Like, let's just say the most impressive video game in existence and it's a 30 hour long game, I will say one hour is the amount of time that your brain will spend in awe of beautiful visuals. And I would like to get comments of people telling me, no, I disagree because of this, or I agree because of that, but 
that is the scenario that I'm proposing. I would argue that you don't spend that much time being impressed by beautiful visuals, visual fidelity, high resolution textures, RTX, all of these things, right? On the other hand, if a game's performance is not up to snuff, if your game is constantly oscillating between 30 FPS and, and 60 FPS, if you are targeting 60 FPS, or in the event that you're targeting 30 FPS, if your game drops below to like in the, in the low 20s, maybe even in the teens, people are going to notice that. And people are going to notice that for much longer than one hour out of the 30 hours that they're going to be playing. They're going to be noticing it every single time. And that is going to be the thing that most people are going to be remembering about that game. It is going to be the poor frame rate, the poor performance. That is like one of the biggest problems that you are going to have. And in my opinion, whenever games feature quality versus performance mode, because you guys know I play a lot of video games on console, usually those are the options that were given, quality versus performance. Every now and then we get like the variable uh, frame rate stuff, where it's like, oh, you can go up to 120 at 1080p, whatever, blah, 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 right? Every now and then we get those additional options. And if you're on the PC, naturally you get a much more custom experience where you can, you know, toggle all kinds of different sliders for visual details and all of that jazz, right? But in my opinion, the biggest portion of, of time that developers spend when it comes to doing optimization for performance, that time is actually spent on the quality modes. Because it appears to me that most developers want their video games to look pretty rather than run well. And, you know, it's one of the situations where it's like, well, we want this game to just look really brutally gorgeous, and this is what we want and we are making no concessions. And in my opinion, I think that you are not really properly serving your community because if you're spending much more time optimizing the quality version of the game versus optimizing the performance version of the game, you are doing yourself a disservice. And let me tell you why. So now is the time where we get to that poll that I was telling you guys about. I'm going to show the poll on screen. So I did this poll on two different platforms, which are the two platforms where I post the most, which are YouTube and Twitter. So the description of this is a hypothetical exercise. So let me read you exactly what I put in this, in this text. Let's do a hypothetical exercise. Let's say there's a game coming out and it's literally the best looking game ever by any and all conceivable metrics. So imagine that, okay? The game is coming out. And this is the best game, the best looking game ever. And this is like, even after the game comes out, this is the truth. This is what happened. The game is the best looking game ever made by all conceivable metrics, visual fidelity, animation, art style, everything. It's just the best in every single regard. And then when it comes to the gameplay of that game, you love it. It's right up your alley. So just imagine that if you are someone that likes FPS, it's the best looking FPS you've ever played with really, really good gameplay, the best gunplay you can imagine. If you like action games, it is the best action game you've ever played. If you like RPGs, it's the best in-depth RPG you've ever played, whether it's turn-based or real-time, whatever, whichever one you prefer. I want you to imagine like your ideal game. And that is what we're talking about, because a lot of people, they were like, oh, if it's a game like this, then I would like it like this. If it's a game like that, I want you to like, take that away, okay? Just think about which is the genre that you prefer the most, which is the one that you like the most above everything else. That is the genre of this game with the best visuals possible, imaginable, okay? With the exact gameplay experience that you wanted, the story is also the best ever made. And then the question is, how would you rather play this game? Would you rather play this game in 4K, HDR, ray tracing enabled with solid 30 FPS? And I think that's an important thing. It's solid 30, okay? I'm not talking about choppy 30, low teens, none of that. It is solid 30 FPS. But the game is running with 4K, HDR, post-processing, all the bells and whistles that you can possibly imagine to like, look, the game will give you an orgasm just for looking at it, okay? Okay. That's the type of visuals that we're talking about. Now, would you rather play this beautiful, perfect game in 4K HDR or in 1080p uh, at in 1440p at 60 FPS with no ray tracing? Now, HDR I know that doesn't really affect performance as far as I'm aware. 
So HDR is not really a big deal. I just put in the HDR in there to be like, it's got everything, okay? But at the end of the day, you should be able to play at 1440p, HDR 60 should be the same thing. But let's just take all of that away. Let's even just take HDR away, okay? It's just 1440p. It looks good because remember, it's still the best looking game out there. It's just running at a lower resolution and it doesn't have ray tracing. So how would you rather play this hypothetical video game? 4K 30 FPS or 1440p 60 FPS? And I think that this is a very important question for us to ask because, you know, if, if most development teams are optimizing towards quality, who exactly are you developing for? Is it for the people that are going to buy the game or is it you're developing it like that because you want to have a, a shiny, pretty game? Because if you take a look at the results of the poll from my community, you have 11% of people out of 3.5 thousand votes. 11% of people would choose to play it in 4K HDR, whereas 89% of people would choose to play it in 1440p at 60, at 60 FPS. So basically, by spending more time optimizing the quality mode of the game, you're effectively spending time optimizing for about 10%. Again, of my community. I'm not saying that this is the entirety of the gaming community. I'm saying these are the results from my poll. Now, if we go to Twitter, where it's pretty much the same poll, it's got different wording because uh, Twitter has more limits in terms of what you can write, whatnot, because I'm not really paying for Twitter Blue right now. I'm not saying that I won in the future, but whatever. That's besides the point, right? But it's pretty much the same exercise. And it's even more skewed here. Currently, as I'm recording this video, there's 1,200 votes on there. Probably by the time I capture the image to put in the video, there might be a couple more. But we're sitting at 8.8% .8 of people would choose to play it in 4K HDR with ray tracing at 30 FPS. Whereas 91.3% of people would choose to play it at 1440p at 60 FPS. Now, there are exceptions here. There are notable exceptions here. So like, for instance, if you are somebody who plays on the Switch, you can't say anything. Like, you're going to play 30 FPS and that's what you get because that's a hardware limitation. It's very much like if you have an older computer and you're not willing or you're not capable of upgrading at this point, then most likely you're also going to be settling for maybe even lower resolutions and all of that stuff. But what I'm saying right now is when you look at the potential of, say, a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X or you know, a rig with like a 3080, hell, even probably a, a 2080 Ti should still be able to put on some pretty decent visuals, I would imagine. But, you know, right now you have people on 4090s where their game just d can't even reach 60 FPS, even if people lower the settings down. So there's a performance issue there. But like, the point of the whole video is, when you are developing for this imaginary audience that wants everything in 4K HDR, RTX on 30 FPS, and you spend more time optimizing your game for that, rather than spending more time optimizing your game to run at 60 FPS, who exactly are you serving? That's the question that I'm, that I'm asking. And again, I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm saying this is the data that I have, this is what it indicates, and these are my conclusions as well as my own personal preference. And I'm questioning, should we not spend more time developing for making games run at faster frame rates where the hardware allows it, as opposed to making the game look prettier, which is something that in the long term, like I said, across the a 30 hour video game, that is something that fundamentally is some people will notice for like one hour of that entire experience. Whereas the 60 FPS is something that people will notice across the board throughout the whole experience, particularly when there's dips from those 60 FPS. That's, that's the only thing that I'm saying. And I'd be very curious to hear feedback from you guys, because that way there will be a, you know, a video where developers themselves can potentially get some feedback from the gaming community. And it's like, I feel like at, at, at a large, we'd prefer to have the frames, even if the game maybe doesn't look as pretty, but that's just from what I get from the, um, from the, the, the feedback that I received on these polls. But anyways, that was, that's it. Uh, this, this is the video that I wanted to make. If you guys enjoyed it, leave it a like. If you did not enjoy it, leave it a dislike. I'll be very curious to see uh, what the discussion uh, evolves into in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.